it is once again uh, dark enough that I need to turn a light on because the sun is not up. Which means this is not only Coffee with Santi after dark, this is Coffee with Santi. Hey, you up? Good morning and welcome back to Coffee with Santi. Today, um, I thought we would talk about something a little bit more lighthearted. Um, I had this idea the other day, I was thinking about things I wouldn't do uh, even for a million dollars. Because you hear often people like, oh, you know, I'd do anything for a million dollars or whatever. And I often try and think to myself like, well, what wouldn't I do? Even if somebody was offering me like an absurd amount of money. Um, and the first thing that I thought of was go back to school. Any kind of my schooling in the past that wasn't like my senior year, no, my freshman year of college. Um, because just like school is awful. <laughs> um, and being an adult isn't, is awful. Um, and in this scenario, I guess like a time traveler is offering me a million dollars to go back to middle school or whatever, but I wouldn't do it, man. I wouldn't do it. You couldn't make me. It's just, just a horrible time in your life. Like it's a horrible time to like, you know, you feel weird about your body and about other people and you're sad and insecure all the time. Just like from the age of, you know, eight to like 18, it's just the worst time. The other thing I don't think I would ever do for a million dollars, and this one's not so lighthearted, but I don't think I could kill somebody. Like even if they were a really bad person, I don't think I could like take another person's life, even if I was offered, like even if I was offered like a billion dollars, I don't think I could like directly kill someone just because it's like, I don't know. I feel like I don't have that kind of power. <laughs> I feel like that's between like you and God or whatever. I, I guess something else I wouldn't do for a million dollars is like, I don't know, any sort of, of undermining of someone or blackmail or anything like that where I would basically be like ruining another person's life. Like, even if that person, like I'm not killing that person, I don't think I could ever do something that was like so horrendous that like somebody couldn't live the rest of their life as they had before. To me, that feels like, I, you hear a lot of people be like, oh, I'd do that for, a, you know, I'd take that guy down for a million dollars. Maybe that's just my friends. Maybe it's because I'm friends with mobsters. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I could never do anything like that. I'm. I think what I'm learning is like, I don't have like the thick skin to be like a, like somebody who exploits other people for money. Um, yeah, that's an interesting, it's an interesting question. I think like the limits of what you would do for monetary uh, compensation. Um, like how far does money drive you and where do your, do your morals step in? Because for me, I'm a very like, I'm a very morally driven person uh, to the point where it sometimes makes me uh, annoying and cynical. Um, and I feel like there's a lot of times where I just wouldn't be able to do stuff for any amount of money. Um, what wouldn't you do for a million dollars? Let me know in the comments down below uh, if you like this video, uh, what's wrong with you? <laughs> no, if you like this video, I make videos. Oh, hello, dog. Come on. Come on. Come on. I was trying to do an outro, but I'll probably just leave this in. Oh, no, the cat's in here. Everything's wrong with him. I'm a zookeeper, motherfucker. What was I saying? Subscribe and like and all that.